<laughs> Every day that I come out to sit, to reflect, to think upon what God would do today. I'm always met with a calmness, especially in the early morning, and a stillness, as though God were sitting still and waiting to see what I would say. Like, do I thank him for being alive? Am I glad to see him sitting here with me, <laughs> enjoying my company? Am I looking forward to spending the day with him? Am I really in love with him as much as I say I am or I used to be? In those moments, I just sit still and peacefully picture in my mind what it'll be like when we see Jesus face to face, when we go to his home, which has become ours. Sometimes it's a good thing not to rush and be in a hurry, but to be still and to wait on the Lord. You know why? Because He just might be waiting for you. God calling as God is speaking to us. Mistakes. I am your shield. No buffets of the world can harm you. Feel that between you and all scorn and indignity is a strong shield. Practice feeling this until nothing has the power to spoil your inward peace. Then indeed a marvelous victory shall be won. You wonder sometimes why you were permitted to make mistakes in your choice when you sought to truly do my will in that matter. To that I say it was no mistake. All your lessons cannot be learned without difficulty, and this was indeed to teach you a lesson. You will learn from it. Not to him who walks on and with no obstacles in his way, but to him that overcometh is the promise given. So to attain peace quickly in your surroundings as well as in your heart, learn your lessons quickly. And the overcoming is never the overcoming of the one who troubled you, but the overcoming of the weakness and wrong in your own nature aroused by such a one that has provoked you. No lower standard than my standard shall be yours. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Can I give you a hint? Can I give you a word? <laughs> Slow down. Very few people make mistakes when they take the time to consider what they say, think about what they do, and ponder who they are in Jesus. Because if you slow down, if you don't let anyone force you into a pace that is not beneficial to you, 
then you'll find that God will meet you walking. But he's not running with you. Sometimes we run far ahead of how patient God is to save, to help, to teach, to instruct those who cannot run as fast as we can or cannot walk as quick as we think we should go. But sometimes we need to look back and realize there's a whole lot of people we need to help instead of run over. Slow down.